Welcome back guys. So uh, as you can see, we're just at Euston Station and we're going to take a trip down to Liverpool today to see a new development that we've recently taken on. And if I'm honest, it's one of them that I'm really excited to show you guys. So let's get going. Hi guys, so I've just arrived in Liverpool Lime Street, um, which as you may have seen in some of our previous videos, that's just over two hours to get out from London Euston. Now what we're going to do today is we're going to go and take a look at, as I said, a new development that we've just launched and one I'm really excited to show you guys. Now that's located in Liverpool Waters. It is within walking distance, um, but I'll be honest, I'm running a bit behind schedule. So I'm going to jump in a quick taxi, um, which should only take a sort of three or four minutes to get to. Now when we get there, we're going to see the um, actual um, area where Liverpool Waters is. We're gonna meet with the developer of this project and also see some of the previous stuff that they've done. So let's get going and let's head down there. So guys, just before we sort of uh, meet with uh, the developer themselves and give you a bit more insight as to the project, I just wanna talk about Liverpool Waters. Now Liverpool Waters is a five and a half billion pound redevelopment scheme. Now that's being headed up by the Pill Group who are behind some of the largest regeneration projects in the UK and predominantly in the North West. One of which is the iconic Media City and um, which they uh, done and that's completely transformed and put Manchester on a map. And that's what we see happening here with Liverpool Waters. It's one of the largest projects and largest regeneration areas within Europe. So there is a lot of growth to be had here. Now, in terms of what's gonna be placed here, you've got the likes of uh, residential space, retail, and commercial. So that's gonna draw a lot of businesses as well as uh, potential tenants into the area. You've even got the likes of uh, the Everton Football Stadium, which you could probably see behind me also being built. So there's gonna be a lot of people that are drawn to this area. Um, and that's really gonna ensure that obviously your tenants and your occupancy rates are extremely high. But as I said, let's get going. Let's go and meet um, Greg, the developer, um, and let's get that much better insight as to what this development's going to offer. Hi guys, so I'm now here with Greg Malou, um, who is the CEO of Romal Capital. And um, yeah, we just want to talk a little bit more about today as to uh, how the project's come about, where it's located. So yeah, Greg, over to you. How did this all come about? Oh, Jack, this, this one's been four years in the planning. Um, this one's a beauty. So basically, it's a site behind us. It's an island site. Uh, we put our focus on it uh, four years ago. Yep. And uh, effectively knew that this needed to, you know, this could possibly transform the area. Mm. And we were very lucky uh, last month to have been granted planning permission. Yep. Uh, I think the, the, the key focus on it is, as I said, it's, it's just a waterfront island site that can never be built out. Definitely. And I think that's what the big appeal is and why we stuck with it. And uh, very happy that we're successful and yep. ready to go. And it's been, been tough to, to get to this point. I know you've had there's been a lot around Liverpool, the heritage status, but for me, this is going to bring a whole new light to Liverpool. It's going to really transform the docks. It's going to draw people to the area. So is that is that the vision here? Look, I've never lost focus on the vision for Liverpool mm. Waters. Uh, I think it's one of the most outstanding regenerations I've ever seen. Uh, effectively, for four years, uh, four years, I've sort of held that vision yeah. that it will be one of the probably best regens in England. Uh, if not Europe, um, and yeah, I think this is the this is the critical site which yeah. unlocks uh, the Docklands for the first time in 50 years. Nice. So it's going to be exciting. And in terms of the site, so we've got obviously there's partial infill of the site here. So as you can obviously see behind us, we're going to have a, a, an infill, and then I believe we've got three blocks. Correct? We have, yeah. yeah? So the building is called West Waterloo Place, as you know. Yep. There are three blocks. Phase one, the Mauritania. Yep. Uh, the second, the Aquitania, and the third is the Mariner. Uh, two of the famous ships, the Mauritania, Aquitania, British most favourite passenger ships. I thought it was very fitting, being that we're so close to the, we're on the Docklands and so uh, close to, you know, everything marine based. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the whole the combination is West Waterloo Place. 
and uh, yeah, the three of them make make up the uh, the project. So Greg, let's um, let's talk a little bit more about the development itself. What what, what is this going to offer once it's all, all up and running and all done? Well, I think basically what it does it it offers the people uh, the opportunity to, to live on an island site. Yep. Within 13 minutes of the of of, of the city centre. And I mean, that is just hard to come by. You know, I've been doing regeneration for 40 years and there's very few sites like this exist. And that's the beauty about Liverpool. But in particular, what we're trying to create here is like a feeling of like living on a, on a boat. Yeah. So that if you walk downstairs, you want to throw your kayak in, you can activate the waterfront. You know, people kayak here all the time in summer. It's wonderful. Uh, you can get picked up by a water taxi. You can go up to Elbert Dock have a coffee, you know, 10 minutes, 10 minutes up the canal and uh, be back before work starts, nice. you know, which is a lovely way to start your day. Just come home, open up your doors, you look out at the, and you'll see the big ship in the background. I was going to say, well, we've got a ship here, right? So you're yeah. going to, that's go you're going to overlook. Effectively straight past your balcony. Or if you're looking on the other side, you're looking, at, you know, you're basically looking at people use the waterfront, mm. kayak and all the rest of it. And I mean, that just doesn't exist. So. Yeah, it's very much about living on the water and making sure that all the amenity that we put in is exactly that, about living on the water. And I'm guessing you love that being, being from Sydney originally. Yeah, that's it. That, yeah, that's why we like to like a home from home. Yeah, very much. Perfect. So as you can hear guys, it, there is just so many top quality and high quality features of this development. And um, yeah, Greg, we, we honestly can't wait to see it in its fully finished product. So uh, yeah, we're looking forward to it. Likewise. So guys, we're now here with, uh, with Louise, um, who works obviously on behalf of Romore as well and deals with a lot of the stuff behind the scenes. Um, so yeah, Louise, what, what are you, what's your sort of role here? How do you take care of everything uh, uh, sort of once the, once the development's all finished and all up and running? Um, well, I'm here really to look after and manage the after sales process. Yeah. After sales is of utmost importance to us. Of course. Because at the end of the day, what a um, investor wants to know is that they their apartment their investments being well run well yeah. managed and looked after and likewise we're here to look after the tenants and residents in our building and yeah. they want to be made to feel very well cared for and catered for so we are here on site um, in phase one of our developments key central yeah. and we essentially look after the residents and the homeowners and the investors that have trusted us to to look after after their property yeah. for us. And you can tell him from the offices. The, the offices are stunning. You can just tell as you walk in here, everything looks yeah exceptionally well presented. So I'm sure the apartments and yeah that's all all, all you're doing. Well, the great thing about being on site is on the development is that you can't walk past anything and see it and not mm. do anything about it. So we always feel that it's best to manage from the ground ground floor up yeah. and by being on site it allows us to take responsibility mm. and be a, a presence to everyone who lives here. Yeah. So they know that they've got any issues or problems or they just need a hand with anything, whether it's taking in a parcel, they lock themselves out of their yeah. apartment. Which I've um, done many a time. Exactly. <laughs> and we are here literally um, to call upon at any time of day or night, basically. Perfect. So after sales care does start from the moment that someone reserves their property. So yeah. we work really closely with Buy Association. Yeah. We provide them with updates, news, videos of how the build's going um, and any news along the way. Um, and then it comes to the exciting part when when an investor yeah. essentially gets their keys, gets their home, yeah. and um, and is able to rent it out. So at that point, we work really hard with completion matters. You know, we're here on site to liaise with the agents, the customer themselves, the solicitors, the surveyors, all those things that can be quite can come at quite a stressful time yeah. to someone. But Headaches. we are here to basically yeah manage yeah. it all and keep it a really smooth aligned process. Um, and then after that, of course, you've got the process of renting out the property and yep. who's going to do that. So we are very much on the front foot with that. Yeah. And um, we have two recommended property agents that are here again on site within the development, um, and they are there again like us to yep. make sure that should a resident or homeowner or a tenant need anything they just have to basically walk downstairs and they Perfect. can get help and assistance. Louise one thing I know is literally from walking to the site back to here is everyone seems to know each other, everyone's saying hello to Greg, everyone's saying hello to you so it just immediately even before it's even built we've got a, like a real community feel and 
again, it's just a nice environment for people to live in. Absolutely, everyone loves living here, and yeah. it is purely because it is such a friendly place. You know, we get to know all the residents, we get to know the homeowners. You can, you can really tell. Exactly, and we, because of that, we don't have the vacancy factors that you get elsewhere. Yeah. People are people have been here since day one, mm. living here, and people just don't want to leave. So you you just build up a really nice environment and community where everyone feels safe and connected, and yeah. that's what we want. We want people to enjoy living here, working here, and playing here. Perfect. So yeah, as I said, guys, it's literally Rome will have everything from start to finish. And Louise obviously plays a massive, uh, massive part within that. And Louise, as we said to Greg, we can't wait to see the finished product. Um, and I can't yeah. wait to meeting all our new yeah. residents and homeowners soon. Perfect. That's it from us, guys. And um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll catch you soon. So, guys, obviously we've just spoken to the developer, and we've just taken a short walk down to the uh, to the next dock along. Uh, we had a bit of a, of a rain pour, hence why I look a little bit probably dishevelled. Um, but I just wanted to sort of highlight the uh, area a little bit more. Obviously we spoke about the Liverpool waters and the regeneration that's happening um, and again the history and how the developments come about. But just to highlight how good a location this is and within walking distance of that main central hub. Um, just behind me you've got the likes of the famous Liver building um, just behind. You've got the uh, cruise line terminal um, just here so you've got sort of nice big cruise ships that are going to be going past your sort of uh, your front door and your window which for me um, I, I love um, and that's a massive highlight once the development's up and running. We've got a new brand new ferry port that's also being built here which again all shows that there's a lot of money being spent on the area. Now in terms of the development um, which is obviously the, the actual site is going to be just behind me. Um, the actual development consists of 330 um, homes. Now that's across three blocks um, and that's going to be a mixture of one, two and three bedroom apartments. Now prices are going to start from 149,000. Um, again, as we go up in the building, depending on the view, the price may go up slightly, but you can get into this development for as little as 149,000, which if we were to fast forward five, 10 years, is going to look phenomenal value. Now, in terms of the quality of these homes, now they're going to be pumped in with the latest smart technology. We've got things to monitor your energy efficiency, turning your lights off by literally the sound of your own voice. There's going to add all the huge smart features into this, which is going to draw uh, people to the apartments and it's just going to guarantee that you're going to get a great occupancy rate. And again, it just draws more people in and more people want to rent your apartment. So these guys have gone to the finest touches to make sure that they've gone to that level above to ensure that these, are, uh, these apartments have got great longevity. Now, in terms of the actual development, as I said, we're looking at a completion date 2024. Um, now, again, these guys, the previous two phases they've done, all completed on time, so we have every confidence that that's going to come into play and they're going to deliver on, on time for this project. We only need a 25% deposit um, in able to secure and lock in today's prices. Um, so this, to me, ticks all of the boxes and you're investing in one of the best areas for a buy to let at the moment. And last but not least, guys, I just want to add a personal touch. We get here and uh, at Flambard Williams, we get approached by multiple developers and we could probably, we get offered 100, 150 developments year on year. Now we narrow those down and we probably take on somewhere in the region of 10 to 15 of those. The ones that we feel have the edge and the one that we feel are gonna give you as an investor the best returns. And then out of those 10 to 15, there's probably a handful that I personally would invest in. And I must say guys, this is one I personally would put my money where my mouth is. So hopefully that gives you guys confidence that by purchasing in here, you're gonna get a great investment and you're definitely doing the right thing. But overall guys, that's hopefully giving you a much better idea and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. If you like uh, the video, please again, like and subscribe and you guys will get to see me uh, again soon. Take care, look forward to it. Just arrived in Liverpool Lime Street and um, we've, as you've... <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you... Ah. Hey Steve, everything all right? Short sort of walking distance away. A little bit, it was just a little bit. Morning. Questions uh, we get asked um, along with the ducks. Think about where you are to walk in from here. Yeah, yeah. walking to shop. Do you think the comment about the jumping out of a bar? Because I'm thinking of. So don't say it. I do say it. So guys, you've just heard it in regards to. Um... Start again. Because he started filming me, I was put. Bring this development to light. What do you? What... <laughs>